Hello everyone, this is Care. Today I will teach you how to make this creative call out text effect. You can use it in any of your video creation. So if you're interested in this one, keep watching. First, we are going to lead a background video and a piece of music. You can also prepare a black picture, but it's fine if you don't have any, because I will show you how to create one here. Click here to create a new text clip. Then, delete all the text. Click here to take a screenshot. Then, import a screenshot into Vidipro Vlogger. And now you can have a black image. After that, we will need to use it as a mask to achieve some effects. We we'll have all the materials ready. We now need to create a text for the cutout. Let's modify the text content of the text material. You can change your text to whatever you want. Here, I will use a Paris as a demo. Let's choose a font. Change the font size to 300. Scroll down and remove the shadow of the text here. Then, click here to adjust the scale of the text. Here, I want a text to reflect the video in some way. We we'll put a video on the main track. And then, adjust position where you want the cutout effect to appear. Like pretty much here. Then, we we'll hide the video so that there is just a text in the preview window. Click here to save a screenshot. Import a screenshot into Vidipro Vlog as well. Now you can delete the text material. Next, we create a black screen effect on the top and the bottom. Here, because the effect we want to create is not symmetrical, we we'll need to create them separately. And if the effect is symmetrical, we can use a vertical close template in motion to do it quickly. We put the black image on the overlay track. Click here in the inspector to align the material in height. Next, click on motion to create the top half of the black screen effect. Add a keyframe at the start position. And add another one at the fifth second position. We we'll resize the first keyframe to its original size. Move it vertically down to the outside of the image. And change the motion mode to speed up. Then, we come to the second keyframe position. Again, let's bring the frame back to its original size. Position vertically down about little more than half away. And change the motion mode to speed down. And then add another keyframe at the end of it. Let's play it and see how it looks. Yeah, not bad. Next, we click here to create a new overlay track and start making the second half of the black screen effect. The method is basically the same as the first half of the black screen, but we need the first keyframe to move up and move the second keyframe just a little bit. The range here is adjusted according to the video screen, and you can adjust it according to your basic leads. After adding the last keyframe and modifying the speed mode of the first two keyframes, the black screen effect is finished.
Let's play it. Well, not bad. Now, let's do the text part. Create a new overlay track. Put the text from the previous screenshot on top. And align it to the height. Click on Crop to crop out the bottom part of the text. Then, click here to adjust the position of the text. Black. Click on Motion to create a similar effect to the top half of the black screen. When you're done, Find Compositing in the Inspector and select Darken. Now we can see that the text is invisible on the screen. Let's shorten the duration of the top half of the black screen. Add a fade out effect to it. Now we we'll play it again to see. Well, now the effect is all done. Isn't very simple? You can apply it anywhere you want. Try it out for yourself. And anyway, don't forget to click that subscribe button to the subscribe channel if you haven't yet. And we'll see you soon in our next video. Hope you enjoy. Bye-bye.